My revival sucks. In terms of performance. By default, the performance in Marvel Rivals is by far the worst performance I've had I've experienced probably since Delta Force. And then before that, probably for at least 10 years. <laughs> so it seems like modern gaming is on a trend. Today, I wanted to show you how to increase your performance so that you get a huge increase in, it, in frames per second when playing Marvel Rivals. I'm going to teach you how to go from this to this. Let's get started. As you can see here, I'm in the training area and I'm currently getting between like 60, 70, see, between 60 to 70 frames per second. It, it's really fluctuating. And this is like the default settings that they give you. You know, you have all these reflections, these hideous, ugly reflections that they poorly optimized. Pause! What is that? Today, I want to show you how to make it better. First, we're going to go into our settings. And we're going to go up here to our display and we're going to change some graphic settings. First step is underneath anti-aliasing and super resolution type. We're going to change this to TAAU. This is this temporal anti-aliasing. I don't know what the U is for, <laughs> but this is the best performing one. We're going to drop our render scaling all the way down to 50. It, it, it can only go to 50. Make sure frame generation mode is off. This will make your game, technically it'll you'll see 80 frames per second, but your game might be running at 40 frames per second, and it's using AI to generate frames in between every other frame to make it feel like, or to, rather to make it look like it's running better, but your input is still based off of the 40 fr fr frames per second that you're actually getting. So you might actually feel lag or input lag or even mouse smoothing if you have this on and you're getting a low frame rate. It's a common thing that modern games are using that is just really, it's lazy on the developers, to be honest. It doesn't make the game run better. It just makes it the, it kind of deceives the consumer to make it seem like it runs better. Low latency mode, make sure this is set to off. You might not have this if you have an AMD card or you might have something different. But I have an NVIDIA card, GTX 1080. This is another thing that will make it feel like you're having mouse acceleration enabled. I don't know what it is about this setting, but it's supposed to make it low latency so that you're, you don't have input delay or mouse acceleration, but when it's on, it feels like you do. So make sure that's turned off. Uh, for limit FPS, this is a, an optional thing. Personally, I like to set it to about 120 just to make sure that I get capped out at 120 and I don't get that weird fluctuation where it boosts up to 140 and then drops down to 80. And then like, it just feels really weird. You really feel it when you're, when you're gaming and you can see the FPS kind of go above its usual amount and then go back to normal. So I like to keep it at 120 just personal preference you could keep it at 90 60 if you whatever hertz monitor you have i have a 144 hertz monitor i'm not taking full advantage of it but it's i'm not going to get 144 frames mo most often i'm not going to but I'll, I'll set it to 44 because why not show fps and network stats i like to keep these on just so i know what's going on vsync make sure this is turned off this is usually a setting that messes with a lot of people in terms of motion issues or mouse acceleration or mouse smoothing a whole bunch of weird stuff always turn vsync off and and let's just scroll down to graphics settings. I'm going to turn all of this off down to low. So graphics quality set to low. Do not hit this optimize button. This just ruins the game. <laughs> set everything to low. Global illumination. We're going to make sure this is set to SSGI or screen space global illumination down to low quality. Lumen global illumination is the Unreal Engine 5 thing that's terribly optimized. So keep it at low quality and at reflection quality make sure we're set to screen space reflections not lumen reflections again not optimized screen space gonna go ahead and hit apply from that just from that alone we got a boost to about 120 frames per second 110 120 now we're gonna get into messing with some of the files in the game don't worry it's nothing that that'll get you banned it's nothing changing like server side or messing with your inputs or controls or anything purely just for visuals so we can go ahead and exit out of this game first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and open up our browser, whichever internet browser you've got. And I will leave a link down to this mod in the down in the description. Again, it, it's called a mod just because it's on Nexus mods, but it, it's not going to do anything bad to your game. It's just lowering the visuals beyond what the game intends to just because the game is so poorly optimized that we have to use a mod or use any kind of file, any kind of visual tweaker to make it look good. 
and also play good. We're just going to go ahead and go to this mod, FPS Performance Enhancer from Nexus Mods. Again, the link will be down below. And we could, we're going to have four files. You can download all of these, but what we really care about right now is the mod file dash Marvel Rivals FPS boost. We're going to click on slow download because I don't want to pay for <laughs> Nexus mods. And then we're going to go down to our files again and we're going to download no AA game user settings INI. So this is the game settings file, but this one disables anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing is the terrible thing, the super unoptimized video game thing that a lot of modern games are using that is ruining modern gaming, making everything look blurry and hideous and just terrible. So. We want to make sure that we can turn it off. By default, Marvel Rivals does not allow us to turn it off because, again, lazy developers. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and download this setting that allows us to disable it. So we have both no AA game user settings to INI and mod file dash Marvel Rivals FPS boost. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and minimize our browser. We are going to open up the mod file dash Marvel Rivals FPS boost. This is a 7-zip folder or WinRAR folder, zip folder. Anything that can unzip a folder, that's what you need to open this. Windows 10 by default already has one, so you can probably open it using File Explorer. I'm going to use WinRAR just because it's easier, and it's what I have set as default right now. So first, we have our fps.pak folder or file. We want to move this into our uh, game file. So to do that, let's go over to Steam. We're going to right click on Marvel Rivals, go down to Manage, and go to Browse Local Files. This will open up where the Marvel Rivals game is installed. So now that we're here, we're going to open up Marvel game, Marvel content packs. And here's where the pack is going to go. But first, we're going to actually create a new folder. So right click, create new folder. We're going to type in tilde. That's the key to the left of the number one on your keyboard. Mods, M-O-D-S, and then enter. Open this folder up and we're going to go ahead and bring that fps.pak file that we downloaded earlier from the Marvel Rivals FPS boost. Just drag that in there. You're done here. That's all you needed to do. So now we can close that. We can close WinRAR. Let's open up no AA game user settings.ini. The other file that we downloaded, this is going to be no AA 58%, no AA 77%. I'm going to do no AA 58% because this is just the lowest possible setting that you could get. You could probably do it even lower. I might even try it out. But when you open that up, it's going to be a game user settings.ini file. We're going to go ahead and there's a few ways you can get to this next folder that we need to get to. So let's go ahead and do it. Just hold down Windows key and S. Windows key, the key next to your alt, left alt key. And we're going to type in percent app data percent hit enter this is going to open up your a hidden folder on your computer for app data so by default it goes to roaming we're going to go back to app data go over to local and when we scroll down a little bit we're going to be looking for marvel not marvel rivals marvel open up marvel open up saved and then we're going to go to config windows and then this is our game user settings. This is the default one that's provided by by default upon launching the game. We're just going to go ahead and drag in our game user settings.ini file from the no AA file that we downloaded. Drag it in here. And then it's going to ask us, do you want to replace it? Yes. And there's multiple different settings that you can download. If you like AA, then you could use the FSR one. It'll give you a slight FPS boost, but you're still using anti-aliasing, so your game will still look blurry. Same with DLSS. So whichever one you want, just download it. It'll be the same game user settings.ini file. And if you want, you can go ahead and open it just to see what exactly is in it. Uh, it might ask you what you want to open it with. So you can right click open with. By default, it's Notepad. That's probably the easiest one that everybody has. Or you could have Notepad++, WordPad, whatever you want. Any kind of text editor tool. Here you can see that everything is pretty much set to zero so this is the absolute bare minimum that the graphics can go to if i wanted to i could actually lower the screen percentage that's where the 58 percent is this will make it a little bit more pixely if i make it lower or if you think that it's too pixelated you can raise it up to 77 80 whatever you want and here you can see the screen resolution if any of this is not to your liking like say for example you have a 1920 by 1200 monitor you would want to change the resolution or the resolution here resolution size x and resolution size y and and that's all you really have to do with this. So you can close that out. Make sure you save it if you changed anything. And before we start the game, we're going to right click game user settings.ini. Go, go down to properties. 
and we're just going to make sure underneath attributes that it is set to read only. This is just to double check and to double make sure that the game doesn't affect anything, that it doesn't try to rewrite over this settings or anything. So just make sure that it's set to read only. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and open up Marvel Rivals just from Steam. And now that we are in game, you can look over to my right and you'll see that we have increased our frames all the way up from about 115 earlier to about 150, 140 to 160. So that's about a 40 frame rate increase. This could do extreme wonders for you, especially if you're on a lower end computer as well. I'm on a, like a mid computer. It's not the best, but it's a GTX 1080 and it's a Ryzen 5 3600. It's old, but a game like this should not be running poorly in general. So this is what I'm getting now, 140 to 160. Sometimes it'll drop to 120, depending on what you're looking at. The game is just poorly optimized. One thing that to note is if you do change any of the settings in here, if you try to change anything in here, it will reset the frame rate that back down to 80 because it'll basically see that you did TAAU up to 100% so it'll like re-smooth everything out. If you can try to avoid going into your display settings when you do this because otherwise it'll just you know it'll reset everything. So if you want to change anything in your game user settings to INI folder file just make sure you go to properties and make sure it's set to the read only is disabled and then you can change any settings. So I'm actually going to disable or bring screen percentage down to 50. Gonna save that by control S or file save. Right click properties, go to read only. And then I'm gonna hit play and see what happens. All right, and we are in and yep, it looks like we're still getting about 150 to 160, one third, between 140 and 160. So up to 170 at some times. This is what it looks like. It, it will get a little bit more pixelated as you can see here. It's a price you have to pay to get a freaking decent frame rate and then this poorly optimized game. The mod creator says that this is like near unplayable for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's a smaller screen or maybe on a bigger screen this is unplayable, but I'm on a 21 inch 1920 by 1080 screen. So I believe that this is perfectly fine. This is honestly what I'd be used to if I was playing extremely competitively. you would probably want to play on a resolution even smaller than this, as long as you can still see the enemy players, which I can cl see them clearly here. This is something that I would highly recommend for trying to increase your frame rate. And there is one note here that I noticed the mod creator actually said. They said down here at the bottom, if you're a streamer, please refrain from using this mod while streaming. Currently, as far as I know, the developers are against lowering graphical quality to avoid giving players a, for a poor first impression of the game's graphics. Please respect their viewpoint. To this, I say screw your viewpoint. If you're you're making a game that is so poorly optimized that Twitch streamers, even streamers, are looking up mods to get a decent frame rate in your game. That is on you and that is 100% on you to actually fix your game and make it run properly and optimize it so that it can run properly on their systems. Screw this. If, if you're getting a low frame rate and you need to get a higher frame rate, then use this. And if you're a streamer, then I say use it. Let them know that they are making a very poorly optimized game and need to fix it immediately that's why their game looks the way it does on the on your stream so i recommend all streamers to actually participate doing this and getting a higher frame rate and if they get mad about it then so what tell them to fix it and maybe a 48 or 3080 shouldn't be getting 90 fps in effects some settings to do that I would recommend trying to maintain a 120 plus if you can, if you've got that kind of display. But for the purpose of maxing out the game. A game that looks barely better than Overwatch. Not even better than Overwatch, it looks worse than Overwatch. <laughs> That's my rant. But other than that, thank you so much. This has been Jacob. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'll try to answer them down in the comments below. Check out my Etsy shop, JK3D Productions. I sell cool little 3D printed things like these, as well as some other things that you might be interested in. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening, or night. Have a very happy new year. Hopefully this will be going up on new year's day or maybe later tonight maybe not tonight <laughs> and i'll see you in the next episode of whatever i'm making peace